I aspired to be a doctor. And after dedicating these years of studying and sleepless nights, I do find myself as a doctor now. But I feel dissatisfied and unhappy. You know, how tender and delicate a girl is at 18. Since then, I've been pouring all my heart and soul in loving him and making our family happy. But yet, I feel completely empty and unhappy inside. Born into privilege with a silver spoon, I never envisioned the slightest struggle. However, there is always something that leaves me ending my day with a lingering feeling of of disinterest and unhappiness. Is that your story too? Happiness is a choice. Let's take charge. When was the last time you were happy? Perhaps it's a question that most of us would find difficult to answer today. In the 21st century and in the times that we're in, the misconceptions of finding happiness are unlimited. Imagine this. You are exhausted after work and want a relief from the frustration. So coming back home, you order your favorite food and binge watch random shows until you are too sleepy to stay awake. But what about the next morning? Isn't such happiness based on external situations always so transient and short-lived? It eventually brings us sorrow, a vacuum. I love my phone. Social media keeps me updated. Food, clothes, money. These things we all need to maintain a level of happiness. When you don't have it, it can be very challenging. Very, very challenging. But do I need it or do I want it? Yet, we are on an eternal quest for this beautiful feeling in every nook and corner of our life. In our culture, we very frequently wait for somebody outside of us to kind of give you that permission to be happy. Give you an example. You're living with your mother-in-law. It doesn't look like she likes you. And so you're living your whole time in that house waiting for that woman to smile at you or to give you a compliment or to praise you and you wait and wait and wait and she never does yet look at the irony unawares our almighty father has bestowed us with unlimited happiness you know people are not aware of this aspect called purity but purity is said to be the mother of peace and happiness if we haven't got a pure mind, if we don't have pure intentions, we can never have happiness. Happiness is really being grateful for what I have. And that brings an inner contentment. We can always want more, more, but when are we ever going to learn that inner contentment brings so much peace of mind? When I started to study Raj Yoga meditation, it made it very clear to me, don't wait on anyone to give you permission to be happy. You are the one that must be responsible for your level of happiness, for your quality of happiness, and for the purity in your happiness. So, the power to be happy lies within us alone. It is our own choice and creation. Start the day with the affirmation. I am a happy being. Happiness is my original nature, part of my inner world. So none but me can create this beautiful feeling. Why do I then look for it in relations, material pleasures and achievements? And why? Why would anyone throw away happiness just because of the way somebody looks at you, the way they pouted their mouth at you, the way they spoke at you? Or why would anyone throw away their happiness because they see somebody else is getting benefited and they think that they're not? 
It's like it's such a huge compromise. To throw away happiness, it's like throwing away trillions and trillions of dollars for no reason. Let us quit our emotional dependence on external situations to be happy. Instead of allowing them to rule over us, let us pledge on this day to take charge of our own happiness ourselves. Pay attention to the small things that you do. Put bhavna, put your feelings in the little things, cooking, cleaning, speaking, walking, um, sitting. Spread joy around you with blessings and good wishes for all. Be a selfless giver without expectations and feel the happiness multiplying within you. So, discover your own sea of boundless happiness and immerse yourself in this unique gift of the Almighty Father. Om Shanti.